So I'm an idiot. It was right by the gate. I ran right the fuck past it. Yep. I'm an idiot. I wasted so much time looking for this damn thing. I, I was gonna start... I was gonna start to look it up, and I was like, whatever, I'll just leave through town and reset it. And I just saw the chicken sitting there. This is literally like two minutes later. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Help me, I will give you this. It's a fine glass and should be very useful. It's a bottle. It's an empty bottle. These are very worth it to get. Even if I fucked it up and spent eight years looking for a chicken that was literally at the front gate. Fuck this game. I'm kidding. I love this game. Now in here. Yeah, you see this damn thing? This nightmare creature? We can talk to him. We all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider of the curse in the entire world is destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear, collect it as proof of your achievements. The number is next to this icon on the quest subscreen. Indicate how many spiders of the curse you have destroyed so far. And next to the name of the area of the map screen, there are no more spiders in that area. Look for them not only in open in the open but also inside of dungeons. Of course, this is just our dream. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. If you break the curse, my family will make you very rich. So yeah, this So yeah, this guy due to the greed of his people his family was turned into these monsters. So, if you collect golden sculptulas, they will give you stuff. I think there's one in here somewhere. I think. Wasn't there a golden sculpture in here somewhere? Also, don't get too close, because they don't try to, but they, they can attack you. So, yeah. Uh, this is where you go to collect uh, for killing gold sculptures. Anyways. Oh yeah, she loses her chickens again, by the way. Yeah, real nice. Uh, I'm not helping you again, but I, I need one of them for stuff. Come on. Bastard chickens. So what you want to do is, because we're still collecting, we're not doing any mission stuff. we can grab if we do this right. Okay. Alright. Wait for that idiot to move because he will fuck everything up. Like he just did. Hate you. Or I could launch it. Now I'm starting to get frustrated. Okay. Okay. I get you another piece of heart.
Yep. Okay, that's what we were trying to do, and I wasted like five minutes trying to do it. Okay, next we want to go here to the graveyard, I believe. The graveyard. There's a kid fucking around with a stick. I don't know why I'm collecting money. I don't have any room for it. Excuse me, weird kid. Okay, what we want to do is go right here and play Zelda's Lullaby. We don't have to do this, but we want to. And yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have activated something horrifying. We have awakened it. Do we venture down into the deep, dark, dank cave? Yes. Let's go. No. Don't read that. I was going to jump in. It was going to be epic, and you messed that up for me. Welcome to the royal family's tomb. There's also another thing we could have did when we are in Hyrule Field. I'll probably, since I'm going back there anyways, uh, between sessions. I'll check him. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstructed by the lurkers in the dark. That doesn't sound good. What are these enemies? Oh, before I even had a chance to check them. I killed them too quick. They, they were keys. That's what they call bats in Zelda World. You're freaking out about that spot. I don't even know what it is, though. So, I wonder what these so-called lurkers of the dark are. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, you see these fucking things? These are redids. I'll fight one to show you what the fuck they are. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, read it. It's gaze, it's gaze will paralyze you. If it bites in you, tap any button to escape. Why did I de-lock on? Yeah, we're gonna just ignore them. So those things will paralyze Link with fear, with their mere presence, if they look at you. These things are not to be fucked around with. Also, these bones right here are floating. So what we came down here to do is to check this. The poem dictates the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising of the sun will eventually set. The newborn, a newborn's life will fade from sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on a tombstone. The secret melody of the Positor brother or the Composer Brothers. They're not in this game. I think. I think they're in, in I think they're in Majora's Mask. If you can believe Majora's Mask. Now this gives us the power to change day to night and night to day. But it also has another ability. Yep, we learned the sun song. So yeah, we can leave now. What I wanna know is what's this fucking like slime shit on the ground? What the fuck is this? Okay, cool. So, 
Fun fact. If you play it around re-deads... You heard that? Yeah. They turn to stone. And they can't do anything to you. So that's snazzy. So yeah, we're gonna leave. Can't really do anything about those things wandering around down here. Did I hear something crawling in there? I'm gonna check real quick. Something crawling in there. No. Alright, cool. There's nothing crawling. No sculptures. And now that it's night time, we have. This is Daffy. The grave digger. Hi. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Daffy, the gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you a, an advertisement for my side business. Daffy, the gravekeeper's heart pounding grave digging tour. I'm gonna come out. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you wanna dig here? Ten ruins for one hole. Nah. I don't have time for that. Shit. Anyways. So, we have a little time, so let's explore this place at night. So different here at night time. So what I want to do... Oh, see? Golden sword. It was outside of the building. That was what it was. Okay, that's another one down. I think there's one here. There we go. Oh yeah, golden sculptures only show up at night unless they're in like dungeons or you get knock them out of like some trees. This guy looks real sad. You okay, man? People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting, too. Alright. You look real sad. I hope you feel better, man. See, I'm gonna check out what's in here. Or check out, see if we unlocked anyone. I don't think we did. But in her check. Nope. Oof. I'm not even afraid of spiders and you things creep me out. Okay. So as much as as much as I wanna be like, well, let's go do some other stuff. Or let's go do the story. I'm not, because there's some other things we can, I believe, we can start. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have them open the door, but I'm gonna end it off there, because I'm gonna start in, um, I'm gonna start at, uh, what is it, back in Hyrule Castle, after this. Oh, this is, it should be Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see, hmm, okay. This cute. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Ha! Ah, what kind of funny game has the princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Yeah, we're gonna end it off. I hear, I hear a Skulltula. I think I know where it is. Should be able to equip a proper shield. It's an active volcano, after all. Oh. If you go back to the remote, you should check out the bazaar. They sell a shield there if you need it. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. So, yeah. I'm gonna end it off. 
Bye.